respect. Back in 92, a minimum wage increase in Alberta brings not a lot of change to the border city. Alberta's minimum wage is going up today. The Alberta government has increased its rate, formerly the lowest in Canada by 50 cents to $5. However, Lloyd Minster's Alberta side businesses already made such a move. But I think you'll find that the majority of businesses in Lloyd Minster who pay minimum wage as a starting salary are already paying the $5 an hour. Uh, simply because of the legislation on the Saskatchewan side right now being at $5 an hour, uh, the competition for employees has basically dictated uh, what the minimum wage on one side of, of the city uh, becomes the minimum wage on the other side. One result of the increase may be small price changes. Graham Halliday says small businesses that can't scale down will make changes uh, that way. Yeah. I think if anything you'll see uh, the ones that are paying minimum wage who have to make any increases to staff salaries are maybe going to have to uh, tack on a little bit extra on the meal or, or the product we're buying in their store. But for the most part I don't think we're going to notice much of a difference in Lloyd Minster. And the biggest bash the border has ever seen. In 97, CKSA Radio celebrates 40 years of broadcasting. The Stockade Convention Center was rocking Friday night as Country 108 CKSA Radio celebrated 40 years of broadcasting. We had seating for 818 and all the seats were full, so we're thinking probably about 900 people were there. So. It was a great party, absolutely super. Everything went real well and went smooth and without a hitch. The room was filled with loyal listeners who stood by the radio for the past month, hoping to be the right caller in to win tickets to the Big Bash. The last couple of weeks before the party happened, we had calls, you know, how do I get tickets, can I buy tickets? And you know, there was quite a demand on tickets, so it was, uh, it was well done, it was a good party. Country 108 now has its largest listening audience, reaching almost 43,000 people in the Midwest every week. The station is number one in the area and in 1996 had its most successful year ever. It was definitely time to celebrate. And that's all for this week in Retrospect. Retrospect this week is brought to you by Websport. Worth your while to drive the extra mile. Websport in Vermilion.